Hi folks. Well, we have a great episode for you today. A little something different for bird dogs afield. Flushing dogs, not pointing dogs, but they're very good flushing dogs. We're visiting the Patriot Sporting Spaniel Club in their annual AKC hunt test held at Sharps Farm in New Hampshire. There are three classes of dogs, junior, senior, and master. We're filming the master level, so you can see the very best that uh, you're gonna see in, in flushing dogs. So I hope you enjoy it. There are several different exercises you're gonna see. You're gonna see field work, you're gonna see water work, retrieving, just great stuff. Have fun. All right, first of all, I, I wanna thank everybody for, uh, for coming. I mean, we have huge entries both days, which should tell you what a great active club we have. Um, I particularly want to thank uh, Steve Church, who is the Pied Piper of uh, training for the Patriot Club. I don't think we'd have these numbers w without Steve. We just have to sort of tolerate him, but that's all right. Uh, this, this does not work without everybody in the club uh, and beyond pitching in. So I cannot thank you enough for making this happen. Um, I want to thank our judges. Uh, so for the master, we have Alex Cascio. If you could raise your hand, Alex. Uh, and, and Tim Welling. Uh, thank you very much. And I, I want to thank all the volunteers that are helping uh, today and helped get us to this point. So Jay did a ton of work. Uh, Karen Cartier as a secretary did a ton of work to get us here. Um, a bunch of you are going to do a ton of work planting birds, gunning, you know, throwing in birds for hunt deads, whatever. As soon as we break, we're going to caravan over to the dam. If you're one of the first few dogs, I Bob, you're dog number one. So um, be ready to roll uh, and should be a great day. Hi, I'm Lori Guile here in Hopkinton, New Hampshire at the Patriot Sporting Spaniel Club Hunt Test event. Today we're running, you will be seeing master level hunt test dogs who will be competing in four different challenges for their hunt test titles. The first challenge that they have is our field work. In the field work, each master level dog must flush and retrieve two birds and they must be steady. The second part of the challenge is called a hunt dead. In the hunt dead, it is a 65 yard retrieve that the dog must go out 60, approximately 65 yards and find the dead bird and retrieve it to hand. The third event that we do is our water blind. In the water blind, the, the dead bird is placed across a body of water, so the dog must start on this side of the water swim across the body of water to the opposite side, again, find the bird and bring it back, retrieve it to hand. And then our final event is called a water mark. And in the water mark, the dog is lying steady next to you as a handler. The bird is launched into the water with a gunshot. The dog must be steady until you send that dog on that retrieve. And again, he must retrieve to hand. All right, um, all right, so we, me, we set them up over here? Okay. Can we go to the end and that? In the field we have, for our hunt test, we have two guns on either side. They're actually shooting the birds, and then the handler in the middle running the dog carries a gun to demonstrate safe handling procedures as if they were hunting their dog. This is Wayne. He just turned four on June 9th, and he's a field-bred English Springer Spaniel. Okay, let's move.
Our Dogs Afield, presented by Native Performance Dog Food, providing performance diets for the canine athlete and brought to you in part by RST, manufacturers of short chamber low pressure shot shells, Mud River Dog Products, fundamentally changing the expectations of the hunter and dog enthusiast. Pete Shoe Dryer, inventor of the footwear dryer, takes on the new sense of foot odor. Thorough Good, job fitted footwear handcrafted in America since 1892. Visit thoroughgoodusa.com for a dealer near you. Merkel Shotguns, made with pure passion and reliable craftsmanship that never fades. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. How are you tonight? Today? Yes, we're doing good. This is number five. five. Okay. Welcome to the master land. Today you'll be guiding for our two friends here, on our right and our left. Okay. They're very good shots, but you're gonna have to back them up with this gun here. Treat it like it's loaded at all times. Go through the act of shooting the bird. The dog must be steady, and I will tap you to set. I'll try to remember. Okay. All right. When you're ready, I'll hand you the gun. <laughs> No bird. Heel! That's whose bird is up. You get him. Today you'll be guiding for our two friends. They have very good shots, but you're going to have to back them up, okay? Just okay. this gun and it's loaded at all times. You're going to go through the act of shooting the bird. Yeah. Okay, your dog must be steady. Tap your send. Let your dog's on the tree. You can break the gun. And then we'll go from there. Okay. All right. Are you going to tap the send? Yes, I'll tap you to send.
real quick message from our sponsors, then we'll be right back with more Patriot Sporting Spaniel Club AKC Hunt Test. Hi folks, our dogs work very hard for us. They need and deserve a high performance dog food. My choice is Native. Native has been formulated for the canine athlete. It has none of the low value, hard to digest fillers such as soy, corn, wheat. It has only high grade chicken and high grade digestible grains. It comes in four levels of fat and protein. Each level is formulated for the stress and activity level for your dog at that time. Make the switch today. Your dog will be happy and so will you. Hi folks, Merkel is my choice for a shotgun. Whether it be simple backyard clay shooting or competitive clay shooting or upland bird hunting, Merkel is spot on. You throw it up to your shoulder, it's always right there. Merkel is known for its elegant, high performance shotguns. The new 40E field grade shotgun is offered at an attainable and an affordable price. The Merkel shotgun is robust, reliable, and intuitive. That's what matters most when every split second counts. Check out Merkel today. You won't be disappointed. So the, the judges need to know that even though they're all flushing breeds, uh, they'll all have a different style. So, you know, Springer Spaniels and Cocker Spaniels will, and, and Labrador Retrievers should really drive in hard on a flush. And you uh, may have seen the very first dog and the very first bird uh, actually caught the bird in the air, and that's okay. Uh, but some other dogs uh, will have a slower flush, right? So uh, Welsh Springer Spaniels are known to pause before they go in, um, a little bit slower flush. But, but you don't want to have a dog that actually points and then goes in. So even across the spectrum of, of the flushing breeds, you want to make sure that at some point there's a good drive into the flush. Um, and that's part of the excitement of running a, a spaniel or running in spaniel hunt tests is that you've got these dogs that will really drive in, sometimes jump in the air, sometimes catch them, sometimes miss them. But when they hit the ground, they got to sit down. I want to hear it. So you'll be guiding today. Okay. These two fine gentlemen here are very good shots. But we're still going to need you to back them up. We're going to do so in a safe manner. Okay, when the dog flushes the bird, show us that he's steady. Go through the act of shooting the bird safely. The dog's out on the retrieve after I tap you to send. Break the gun, retrieve the hand. Have some fun. Thank you. All right. Whenever okay. you're ready, sir. Thank you very much. Patrick, tell us a little bit about your run. How'd your dog do? 
Uh, I thought it was a really good run. Uh, he covered the course really well. He checked in. I, I barely had to handle him at all. Uh, I don't know if you noticed there wasn't a lot of whistle there. Um, it's really tough sending conditions. Um, uh, you know, it's kind of swirling in here, so his finds maybe weren't as positive as they normally are for this dog, but he found his birds and he indicated well. Uh, that last bird, he had a nice retrieve and he buttoned it right to the fall and right back. Uh, so I was, I was really happy with that. Number one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He made a very nice shot. You know he doesn't have a gun on him right now. Yeah. He's very nice shot. You see this little gap here? Yep. You see maybe those white birch trees back in that area? Oh yeah. Okay. Yep. Alright, that's just about where the bird is, somewhere okay. in that area. Alright. Okay. You need to get that for us, please. Okay. Heel. Come on. Back. I think he found the bird plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think we're going to find that too. I might not be moving well. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. Yep. Got the bed behind the tree. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is uh, Trichy's Dutch Chocolate, call named Dutch. We just did our hunt dead, where we went out in the field and he would, did a great hunt dead. 65 yards out, found the bird, brought it right back for a retrieve. He's actually an English Cocker Spaniel. Up. quick message from our sponsors then we'll be right back with more Patriot Sporting Spaniel Club AKC hunt test. These work boots are made in central Wisconsin. Thoroughgood shoes have been crafted by hand in Wisconsin since 1892. We manufacture over 125 styles of made in the USA law enforcement, firefighting, lifestyle, outdoor and safety footwear. Our facilities in Maryland Marshfield produce footwear with the same dedication to quality we've had for 125 years. Thorough Good Shoes American Heritage Footwear, proudly made in the USA. Hi, friends. 
You know, whether you're a hiker, hunter, jogger, walker, all of those activities create sweat and moisture in your footwear. That moisture leads to bacteria, mildew, mold, all bad things for your feet. To eliminate that moisture, you need a peat shoe dryer. The new PowerCell peat eliminates that moisture and creates a better atmosphere for good foot health. All right, now, there's a bird down across the water. It's somewhere between, if you look here, there's a uh, rock that's like half in the water, yep. a tree coming up. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's halfway between there and where the stump is out in the water. Okay. Up on the bank. Okay. Now we got a bird down. Okay. Okay. So it's across the water body. All right. With the tree that has a rock half in and a half out of the yep. water. Yep. Between halfway between there and the stump that's in the water up on the bank. Straight shot. Straight shot. Okay. Yep.
Kill it. I hope you enjoyed that episode. I certainly enjoyed being there, watching those dogs, filming it. I saw some great dog work in the Flushing Dog uh, Arena, so it was very enjoyable for me. I also want to thank my good friend Daryl Pettis for helping out with the videography work. He does a great job, and I want to thank you, Daryl. Hope to see you in the field someday. Until then, enjoy your sporting dogs. Bird Dogs Afield, presented by Native Performance Dog Food and brought to you in part by RST Shot Shells, Mud River Dog Products, Peach Shoe Dryer, Thoroughgood Footwear, and Merkel Shotguns. <laughs>